think we've got a 15 minute 10 second game. Let's get some um, serious practice in and uh, let's develop the night, keep it nice and simple. Straightforward chess. Even if it looks going to be complicated, so this player is just blocking stuff off, so that gives us the opportunity to. It's not really too clever bringing the bishop here because he's ready to just drop the pawn down. So I can just open here, looking to prepare to castle. And just block the bishop off, they're looking a bit urgent. And let's get the bishop out. Do have sites of pushing here at some point. Small potatoes could even go here, attacking the head of the snake. And castle, king safety. Probably one of the worst things to do is Develop a piece that doesn't need developing when you could actually be doing something uh, more productive. Like attacking the head of the snake instead of focusing on bringing the knight out here, blocking the white square bishop. It's not really doing anything. Uh, so I'm going to attack the head of the snake. Give space then for the knight to jump into this square here and the bishop probably feels a little, a little bit more freer and not congested. That's just my thought process, but it's um, I may lose tempo, you know, if they did capture, but obviously they'd lose the pawn. So the bishop's going back, maybe looking to give space for their queen here. Bit of a long range thing. We could attack the bishop, or we could just leave the um, pawn there for now and just develop the knight. I think I'm just going to develop the knight and get the pieces developed. So it's gone to an appropriate square. As we mentioned before, it's nothing worse than just developing a piece, just to move a piece. It has to be appropriate. So we do have like, we could attack on the other side as well. But if we did that, they probably would come this side here, then the bishop takes, and then obviously we'd lose out on that side. So now we've got our knight here. I think we can take. I think they've done this pawn move, so their pawn can take. I want to be proactive in the game. So I'm actually going to take, because our rooks like open files, like the opponent's rooks like open files. Oh, it took with the knight, let's take. So it looks like we're creating a open file of sorts. We could continue attacking here, it's just that if they do take, our poor pawn's kind of isolated, isn't it? Queen could go and put a check on, but it's easily defended with this, a smaller piece. So I'm actually going to move the bishop off, maybe look to get a little bit interested in this um, open file here. So I'm going to just x-ray through, it's an obvious move to the king, at which point he'll probably castle. So they've gone defended, so it's a pretty safe game, wanting to get the queen maybe out or maybe coming here to get the rooks across maybe get the rook across now yep let's try and get some ownership of this file i mean it's going to be even stevens for them as well i think they've got to be castling no he's attacking smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong do we want to keep this diagonal i think so for now Coming down, so we're not keeping it for that long. But they're spending a lot of time not developing. Not that they really have to, the bishops are doing a good job here managing these squares, so it's not really a proper open file. Oh, I don't know why I went ooh then, because I'm not winning anything. Am I giving his knight a better position? Queen comes up to attack it, so it goes back again. Let's take. Let's bring the queen up. Bishop's protecting here at the minute, so I'll just jump back to where it came from. 
Is there any tempo wins? We do have an exchange in Ma here, but is it okay? Reduces down the pieces they've got. Do, 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 do. Gives the queen a little bit of space to move here. Let's give it a try. Let's attack the knight. Does capture. So currently this is like a bad bishop because all his pieces are on dark square. So how does he get out of that? But we, I don't know how we can take advantage of that. The king is home alone, but we can't take advantage of that. What we could do, is we could try some sort of stealthy maneuvers, but obviously that's a bit too obvious. Um, maybe just look to double the rooks up. On a white square here. Yep. Just keep it as simple as possible with the idea of looking at that cheap shot. Uh, it's blocking off the any potential attacks there, but this bishop's not supporting this. It's attacking our lone pawn here. We can defend with a smaller piece attacking their higher piece. We could bring the rook up and attack their bishop. Small piece attacking the higher piece can't be wrong. Does it just drop down and start creating havoc? I think we'll go with the small piece attacking the higher piece. It's the pawn attacking the queen. You never know, we might get away with this, but um, it's attacking the rook, so I'm going to bring this rook here, doubling up as we said, and we can pin through to the queen. I think the rooks all look to um, exchange off now. Yeah. So do we have a problem with that? Um, not really, let's just take... Let's just take. Let's bring this here. It's not going to work, you know. But hey, what can you? You've got to try. They might be too anxious. It's easily defended, obviously. But sometimes people fall asleep. We know this. But because they're taking their time now, I think they see what we're going to do. All they're going to do is circumvent it. What do we do from there? Ownership of the file is key. I think the queen probably is going to bounce here. Not yet. Let's do it. So we're attacking this pawn. We're also attacking this square. So obviously defending here, but loses this pawn. <coughs> and there, queen attacks our bishop. We can bring the queen back, I suppose. Yep. Yeah, so they've dropped it. Um, we could attack it again, but then this pawn is just going to take, so that might be a waste. So we may as well take this pawn. We're actually on another pawn as well, but we won't have time to do that because this queen's going to come here. Exactly. So bishop doesn't have to stay there. Could move the bishop, but then his queen's coming down, putting checks on us. So I think it's safer just bringing the queen back. And also he's defending the pawn anyway. So I'm going to bring the queen back. Maybe look to try and cause trouble against this pawn. Because then that's trouble there. I may look to drop his queen so that he's supporting the bishop attacking our queen. Little things like that, but um, see how it transpires. So currently plus one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, exact move. <laughs> so his bishop can attack our queen. The exact move. Isn't that brilliant? 
so we know this um, so we're not really going to maintain this anymore we've got that but that's no good to us we could just attack their queen if they exchange then it's the bishops against each other so it could end up being a draw We're plus one but as we said plus one games don't always mean you've won go for the exchange His pawns are on dark squares, so he's going to have a bit of trouble, but he's, he does have access to this area. Um, I I'm going to go for the exchange. I kind of doubt that they're going to exchange, though. I think they're just going to save their bishop or something. Ooh, they've taken. So they're hedging their bets that it's a draw, and it probably is, but let's practice. I have to get the king up somehow. Maybe he's looking to attack this pawn sitting here forever. Well, there's not much track for my king, is there? Yeah, he's attacking the pawn. Okay. Both got dark square bishops, so we need to keep the dark squares a little bit free. So let's say this. Oh, and they've resigned. Oh, brilliant. I wonder if it was resignable. Shall I just take a look? Slicky bomb. Oh, yeah, gauge bars on our side. That's cool. 